This is the gas turbine engine in the Bell 206 Jet Ranger or the TH-67 with the trainer that the Army flies. Uh, it's got four main sections. It's got the compressor, the combustion chamber, uh, the turbine, the power turbine, and then in the middle here is the accessory gearbox area where all the oil pump, uh, all those cool things are operated on, out of. Uh, so the air comes in here. This is the blue part. And it's just for display purpose only. It's not really painted blue. And it's compressed by this axial compressor here. And it actually tapers outwards. So the airspace is more and more confined as it travels in. And then it hits this centrifugal compressor here. And it's spun outwards. And it travels down these tubes into the combustion chamber where it's mixed with the fuel. And then once it's got the spark, you know, it's, it's it burns and expands, travels from the combustion chamber down these nice little channels to the uh, first uh, set of turbines here, and that's actually uh, connected to the compressor. So that hot gas hits this one, spins that, and in turn spins the compressor faster and faster. So they work together. And that gas comes in and travels in this very small channel. That's the only place it strikes the uh, turbine and that's you know 360 degree circle all the way around there and once it comes through spins that one then it hits this next one's power turbine where the gas uh, spins that one and then the energy is transferred by the shaft to uh, out to the engine so it's turn that one on so there's where the get next step in the gas is out to this exhaust stack it goes right in here and there's two of them about 30% of the air is only used for combustion that's compressed in here. The other 70% or so is used to center the flame. You can imagine this big flame coming down through here and uh, cool these other components, keep that air swirling around it. As you can see, the blue air travels underneath this combustion chamber and along the sides of it here, and then on the opposite side of it, it keeps all those components cool, sending all the heat. Uh, cause damage or melt some some of the types of metal in there. And then it comes to the gearbox where it's uh, transmitted out by the drive shaft. But they have it uh, locked off on this demonstrator here. So the compressor spins anywhere up to 50,000 RPM. The power turbine spins about 30,000 RPM. And that's a quick overview on how the gas turbine engine for the Bell 206 Jet Ranger works. Please take the time to log into YouTube and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Alright, here's that same engine. It's actually mounted on a helicopter here in the display. And they have the same things. Parts labeled the compressor, their discharge tube, the uh, combustion chamber, and there'll be the turbines up there. Uh, I just wanted to show you where the drive shafts come out. So this is your drive shaft that runs to the tail rotor and that one spins roughly 5,000 RPM or so and then the same for the front where it comes out and hits the main transmission so that's your your, your, your gas turbine engine on a Bell 206